Matt, I'm a bit worried. We still haven't heard anything from Charlie and Jim. Not a sausage. Well, except for the postcard we got this morning. What? Why didn't you mention that? I'm sorry, Kev. I was watching an episode of Columbo and I got distracted. <sighs> well, what did it say? Um, something about there being one more thing. And then, in a shocking twist that even I didn't see coming, he arrested the most arrogant man in the story. Uh-huh. Sounds to me like you learnt nothing from that Columbo seminar I took you to. Oh, I remember them explaining how it's not a who done it, but I figured if I skipped past the first ten minutes, then I wouldn't know who the killer was, so I could just guess along with Columbo. I'm not having this conversation again. Can I see the postcard? Yeah, here you go. Ah, the Swiss Alps. Looks stunning. Let's see what it says on the back. Dear Kevin Matt, we've arrived in the Alps and just checked into a fancy spa resort. Everything seems quite lovely so far, despite the terrifying sense of dread and foreboding permeating from virtually every local we've met since we arrived. Staying optimistic, though. Hope to see you soon. Lots of love, Charlie. Don't forget to put my name on it, Charlie. And Jim. Well, at least they're safe and having a good time. I heard they were in terrible, terrible danger. Really, Kev? How come I didn't know that? (sighs) Have you not heard Restoration Falls Part 1? Not yet. I've been too busy with Columbo. Then in that case, I suggest you and anyone else who hasn't played the first part yet, go back and listen to that before hearing this episode, as this is the conclusion to that story. Righto. Do you want to do the title read then? I'm going to shove my fingers in my ears so I don't spoil part one. How are you able to get all of your fingers into your ears? What? Never mind. Cat Noir presents Restoration Fall. Two-part story written by Matt Sanders and Kevin Childers. Part 2. Falling Down. Have you finished? Yes, Matt. I've finished doing the title read. What? I said I've... uh, Look, why don't we just put the television on? You can watch that while the rest of us concentrate on this episode. I can't hear you, Kev. I've got my fingers in... Hey, look! Columbo's on the telly. I'm sorry about this, everyone. Once I get Matt distracted and settled, we can go back to the Alps. Can you put the subtitles on? (sighs) Welcome to Restoration Falls. It's time for breakfast. Mm, mm, mm. Excuse me? Yes, sir. I don't suppose you've seen my friend Charlie, have you? Not yet, sir, but it has only just gone eight and some of our guests like to sleep in. No, I don't think you understand. You see, we checked in yesterday and Charlie went for a special treatment in the late afternoon, but I haven't seen him since. Perhaps he's avoiding you, sir. I mean, I could understand why. What? Well... I went round to his room several times last night, and twice already this morning, but there's still no answer. It's not like Charlie to ignore me. I'm really concerned. That does sound problematic, sir. Can I offer you some breakfast? Damn it, man. Are you not listening to me? My friend's gone missing. How can you think about food at a time like this? I'm a waiter, sir. It's part of my job. I see. In that case, I'll take a coffee, thanks. And uh, make it strong. I think I'm going to need my wits about me today. Certainly, sir. I'm here to help. And would, sir, care for one of our complimentary service hams? Your what? Complimentary service ham, sir. They weigh around 50 pounds and are quite delicious. And what exactly is it? It's very much like any typical £50 service ham, sir. Only ours are complimentary. I see. Actually, I don't see. I understand the words complimentary and ham, but adding the word service makes it sound jolly confusing. Are you quite sure your friend didn't just check out and run away, sir? In order to avoid having such tedious conversations as this one, I mean. Now listen here. My friend Charlie's disappeared. Everyone outside warned us away from this place when we arrived, and now no one in here is giving me a straight answer. I asked those two who checked us in. They just said not to worry, but I am worried. I need to find my friend, so you tell me, as one human being to another, what you would do if you were me. I take the complimentary service ham, sir. Fair enough. If you don't want it, Mr. Bond, I can take your ham. I am quite partial to fine meat. Agatha Kensington. Good morning, sugar. I overheard you say you knocked Charlie up many times last night. I lament that my own door remained untouched. But look at you. You're you're so thin. Why, thank you. How did you lose so much weight in just one night? Conversation really is not Sir's strongest forte, is it, sir? It's okay, sweetie. I'm complimented, not offended. When I stepped on the bathroom scales yesterday morning, they cried. However, today is quite a different day. Yes, but how? 
You must have lost over 200 pounds? 235 to be exact, Mr. Bond. I had to pack two entirely different wardrobes for my stay here. Wait a minute. Is this from the special treatment you had yesterday? I'm perfectly happy to stand by and wait for the pair of you to finish your discussion. After all, one cannot spell the word waiter without wait. I come here at least once a month, Mr. Bond, to help me manage my dietary requirements. You see, whilst Hollywood expects a certain appearance from me, at heart, I'm simply a girl who likes her food. £235 in one single treatment? What can I say, Mr. Bond? Restoration Force helps me maintain my figure and curb my natural proclivities. Actually, even though I am here to help, I've just this second become tired of waiting. Would Madam care for any breakfast beyond the complimentary ham and tawdry conversation? I'll take two of everything on the menu. Certainly, madam. I'll notify the chef and have it all brought to your table. Thank you, Sugar. Uh, don't forget my coffee. But of course. Sir. So let me get this right, Agatha. You eat and eat and eat and then come here once every few weeks to have all the fat sucked out of you in one single special treatment. That's about the size of it, Sugar. Well, there's no denying the results, but I... I mean, how much does it cost? I pay 10000 for each treatment I have. Crikey! Oh, that's nothing compared to the 1.5 million tip I leave for service well performed. 1.5 million? Are you aroused, Mr. Bond? To tell you the truth, Agatha, I prefer people to look more human than Hollywood. We've all got our insecurities, I suppose, but damn it, woman, 1.5 million as a tip! Money is but a small sacrifice to achieve the things we desire. I'm not sure I agree. And I don't trust this place either. Charlie's been missing since last night. I'm really worried about him. Can he afford his treatment, Mr. Bond? What? Of course he can. Charlie's loaded, I should know. I'm his agent. Then I'm sure he'll be quite fine. Let him rest, sugar. It'll give you and I more time to discuss the possibility of you and I. Look, I'm incredibly flattered, Agatha. I, I truly am, but I'm afraid my mind won't ease until I've found Charlie. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. In that case, Mr. Bond, will you excuse me? I need to pack and get ready to leave. You see, I'm flying out later to make a Marvel movie. Marvelous. When the waiter comes back, ask him to send my food out to my room, along with a Victoria sponge. Oh, yes, of course. Room four, Mr. Bond. It's between rooms three and five. J just one more thing, Agatha, before you go. Anything for you, sugar. It'll give you the chance to admire my posterior one more time as I walk away. Did it hurt? The special treatment, I mean. Good question. But I'm afraid I have absolutely no idea. You see, I only ever remember going into the treatment room and then waking up in my bed the following morning, thin and hungry. I see. Are you quite sure you have everything you want from me? I think so, Agatha. Thanks, and uh, congratulations again on your weight loss. Room four, Mr. Bond. There's still plenty of me yet to see. Au revoir for now. Sorry, I don't speak French. Here you are, sir. One strong cup of coffee and sir's complimentary service ham. Thank you. Oh, a, a message from Agatha. She asked you to have her breakfast sent up to her room along with a Victoria sponge cake? Ah, indeed, sir. I can only assume that Ms. Kensington finally grew weary of sir's company. Now look here, waiter. Jim? Charlie! There you are. Where the hell have you been? I've got no idea, Jim. I remember going in for the treatment, and the next thing I knew, I woke up in my bed just a few minutes ago. Mm, same as Agatha. Good morning, Mr. Blunderwedge. I can heartily recommend sitting at a different table. You see, this one suffers from rather stifled conversation. Who's this chump? My guess would be someone who sits alone at home every evening, wondering why his sole purpose revolves around the fetching and serving of food. Touché, sir. And let me be the first to say that no one in the kitchen spat in your coffee. I see. Well, I've just a second gone off the idea of drinking this all the same. Of course, sir. I'll happily walk it all the way back to the kitchen and have it disposed of. What's this massive ham on the table? It's a complimentary service ham, sir. It weighs approximately 50 pounds and is quite delicious. Can I offer, sir, one along with breakfast? Um, actually, have you got anything with pine cones? Charlie! I'm nuts about them, Jim. I think I was dreaming about them overnight. Now I can't get them out of my mind. I'm afraid, sir, that pine cones do not feature on our breakfast menu. I see. In that case, I'd like some pine seeds mixed into a three-egg omelette. Yes, sir. And a jug of coffee with some fresh pine cones stirred into it. Of course, sir. 
I shall bring your inexplicably pinecone-laden breakfast out to you as soon as Chef overcomes his shock at having to prepare such a ridiculous order. Thank you. I say, Charlie, aren't you overdoing it a bit with the pine cones? Not at all, Jim. In fact, waiter. Yes, sir. Can you ask housekeeping to fill my room with potpourri bowls loaded with pine cones? Of course, sir. As soon as I've made Chef weep at your food order. Lovely. I'm glad you're safe, Charlie. I was really worried about you. Thanks, Jim. I'm sorry I was out of it for so long. I really had no idea. Well, what do you want to do today? I'll be honest. I'll be happy to check out and leave this godforsaken place behind us. What? No way. I love it here. I thought we might go for an alpine walk and gather some pine cones. I think my phobia's finally cured. It certainly seems that way. And in only one special treatment too. Just like Agatha. Agatha Kensington? Uh Uh-huh. I saw her earlier. She's back to being thin again. Seems her treatment was for extreme weight loss. Well, if she feels as good as I do, I can't blame her. I might change my surname to Pinecone. I'm not sure that's wise, Charlie. But it's good to see you've overcome your fear. Do you mind if I ask how much it cost? Um, according to the invoice by the side of my bed when I woke up, I paid 10000 for the treatment. Hmm, seems to be the going rate. Out of interest, did you leave a tip? Yeah, apparently I left $1.5 million. Charlie! I'll relax, Jim. I've got it in hand. Yes, but $1.5 million? And to cure a phobia that literally hasn't had any bearing on your life whatsoever? Jim, it's my money and I'll do as I please with it. In fact, I'd have paid $2 million to feel this good about pine cones. You're not making any sense, Charlie. I'm not telling you how to spend your money. I'm just concerned. Well, don't be. I'm free to do whatever I want and live life however I choose. And you can't stop me. Charlie. No, Jim. I'm not having you trying to control me. In fact, you do whatever you want to do with today. I think I'm going to go outside and pick pine cones by myself. But I will take this service hand. This really isn't like you, Charlie. Goodbye, Jim. I'll see you later. And here we are, sir. Mr. Blunderwedge's pinecone omelette and one coffee jug full of stupidity. You might as well take them back to the kitchen, waiter. Charlie stormed off. Of course he has, sir. And I'm sure it had absolutely nothing to do with sir's uniquely gifted conversation skills. I'm going to ignore that, but only because I've got far more important things to do today. Like what, sir? Tell me, did a fellow by the name of Cookie Pancake check out this morning? Uh, Who, sir? Cookie Pancake, the voiceover artist. Sounds a bit like Demi Moore. Never heard of him, sir. Are you sure? I was talking to him in the bar yesterday. I can assure, sir, I know every single guest at Restoration Falls, and there has never been anyone staying here by that name. Interesting. That's exactly what he said would happen. Quite, sir. In the meantime, I'll take this omelette and coffee back to Chef, where I'm sure he'll be delighted that his time and culinary talents have been completely wasted. Do have a good morning, sir. Something's still not right here. I can feel it in my bones. It's no good, Jim. I think I'd better have a snoop around, figure out exactly what's going on in this place. I still can't shake the feeling that Charlie and I are in awful danger. Bung, bung, bung. Welcome to Restoration Falls. Everything is just great. Well, I've had no luck so far. Whatever they're doing here, they're keeping it well hidden. Hello, what's this? Special treatment room, now we're talking. Let's see what these treatments are really about. Damn it, it's locked. I say, excuse me, housekeeping. Oui, monsieur. I'm just trying to get into this room. Only the door seems to be locked. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Pardon, monsieur. Uh, mon chat is sur le table. It's okay. Uh, I'm a guest. I've uh, got a treatment booked. I, I need to get in. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Who is the guard, huh? Ah, bon, 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 bon. Mon frère est dans la piscine. Look, I'm sorry, I really don't speak French. I just need to get into this room. Room, eh? D'accord. Il y a neuf heures. Je m'appelle Claude. Tournez droite et le gauche. Et ouvre. Et voilà. Ah, thank you. Much obliged. Wait, 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 wait. Mon chien est dans la piscine avec mon chat. Mon papa est dans la bibliothèque. Allons-y, hein? <laughs> Je voudrais de poulet. Well, thanks again. Au revoir, monsieur. Now, what have we got here? Well, it certainly looks like a treatment room. Clean, sterile, tranquil. A distinct smell of eucalyptus. Hello, what's this on the treatment chair? Straps? And all along the armrests and down the legs. Oh, Charlie, what have you been up to again? Everything else seems above board, nothing really out of the ordinary, except for that chair. Hang on, what's this? 
There's another door at the back of the room. I wonder where this leads to. Looks like a passageway, old and stony. Not quite the same decor as the main complex. I think I'd better check this out. Whoa, it's certainly chillier here than anywhere else in the building I've seen so far. And what is that funky smell? Oh, wait, there's a window. I can see outside. Let's have a look. Ah, there's the waterfall. So it must be on the east side of the spa. That's good to know. Look, another door at the end of the passageway. Maybe there. Oh, that smell is getting stronger. Here we go. Now to try this door. I'm in luck. It's open. Right then. Whatever's going on in here, what's causing that smell? My God. What is this? I can't quite explain what I'm seeing. Slugs. Giant slugs. Each one in its own cage. There's hundreds of them. And that stench. Oh. Hang on. They've got nameplates on each of the cages. Let's have a look. Colin cures anxiety. Sweet Clive cures phobias. Brenda cures addictions. Maureen cures childhood trauma. Wait a second, these must be the special treatments. No wonder people have to be strapped down. I'd be terrified if someone tried to put one of these on me. They're huge. I think I need to do something about this. Wait, did Charlie and Agatha even know they were cured by giant slugs? They deserve to be told. I don't think so, Mr. Bond. What the? Oh, kooky pancake. Good to see you. I was worried what happened to you after our chat yesterday. Uh, oh, do you know you've got a giant slug on your head? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? I mean, it's stretching from the back of your crown right across the top and down onto your forehead. You must be able to feel it, kooky, surely. Oh, I. I can feel George. He's helping me calm me thoughts. But I don't know why you keep calling me kooky. My name's Lemon Meringue, and I work here. I'm here to help. I think I'm beginning to understand what's going on here. What do you mean? Look, you're not called Lemon Meringue. That was a stupid name given to you because you couldn't afford to pay your bill. So you've been brainwashed by the giant slug into believing you work here, when in actual fact you're a guest named Kooky Pancake. You checked in here sometimes when you start to sound like Demi Moore. That seems a little far-fetched, Mr. Bond. I mean, for starters, I don't sound much like Demi Moore. I'd have to agree with both of them points. However, I'm afraid it's true. Let me help you get that slug off your head. Maybe you'll be able to think straight. Don't come any closer, Mr. Bond. Guests aren't supposed to be back here, and my job is to ensure security at all costs. Damn it, Kooky. Put the gun away. You don't know what you're doing. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. No! <laughs> I'm alive, thank God. He missed. Now he's unconscious on the floor, but how? Hey, Jim. Charlie. I was asking where you'd gone, and some French fellow using oddly out-of-place dialogue pointed me in the direction of the treatment room, so I followed you down the passageway. Well, your timing was tip-top, Charlie. Another second, I'd have been a goner. What did you use to knock Kooky out with? This. Your complimentary service, Ham. Why are you carrying that around with you? Oh, Jim, I don't even know what a complimentary service ham is. I mean, I understand the words complimentary and ham, but adding the word service makes it all sound jolly confusing. It's good to see you, Charlie. I'm sorry about earlier. I'm not sure I was thinking straight. What changed your mind? Well, I was sitting in my room looking at the photo of you I keep beside my bed, and I thought, when has Jim ever tried to control me before? It doesn't make sense, so I'm sorry for how I acted. You keep a photo of me by your bedside? I do, Jim. Even when you're away from home? I'm never parted from it. I don't know whether to be flattered or a little bit creeped out. It's perfectly appropriate to be both, Jim. Well, I'm so glad you've come to your senses, Charlie. I don't know what I was thinking. It's like I was brainwashed. Actually, you might not be that far from the truth. Have you seen all the slugs? I can certainly smell them. Even in the passageway there is a bit of a pong. What do you think they're for? I hate to say it, Charlie, but I think these are the special treatments Restoration Falls has to offer. Look at the one in this cage. Oiling. Cures extreme weight loss. That must be the slug they used on Agatha Kensington. Hey, Jim, I bet it does massive poos. Not now, Charlie. Hang on. Does that mean I have one of those slugs on my head, just like the unconscious fellow on the floor here? I'm afraid so, Charlie. Seems they strap you down beforehand, then afterwards you completely forget what's happened during the treatment session. And then you have no memory of the slug. Well, I'm not sure I can complain. 
After all, it worked for me, and so long as I can stay free from my phobia of pine cones, then I'll be a happy forest-dwelling man. Yes, but that's just it, Charlie. The treatment doesn't last. What? Don't you see, Agatha has to check in once a month for further weight loss treatments, because she keeps on eating. And even Kooky here said he had to keep coming back. Well, at least until his money ran out. So, are you telling me my newly found pine cone phobic freedom is going to be short-lived? Not only that, Charlie. Each time they offer the treatment, part of the brainwashing is to leave a ridiculously large tip in addition to the fee. That's how they're making their money. I'm not sure I approve of that, Jim. Doesn't feel right to fleece a person out of 1.5 million every few weeks just to combat some of life's challenges. I agree, especially since you're not aware of the costs beforehand. But as these slugs actually do seem to work in terms of very specific treatments, maybe they could be put to use for more legitimate practice. What? You mean make them available for everyone, not just the wealthy and the elite? Exactly. And none of the brainwashing whilst you're being treated either. It's a splendid plan, Jim. Let's get out of here and consult with the World Health Organization. Who? Well, well, well. Look what we have here. This area is out of bounds to guests. I'm afraid we're going to have to kill you. Oh, crap, Jim. They found us. We need to get out of here right now. But Sweeney and Todd are blocking the passageway. Then we need to find another way out. Quick, through here. Hang on, hang on, Jim. There's no point in running. We've locked all the exits. Where are we going, Jim? I'm not sure. It's another corridor. Look, there's a staircase curling upward. We're coming for you. Perhaps you'd like a job here. Wouldn't that be nice? Go, 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 Jim. Up the stairs. Those fellas are gaining on us. I'm running, Charlie, but these steps are a bit tight. Hang on, what's this? What is it? Stairs leading to the door. But it's locked. Bum, bum, bum. We are going to catch you. Try to relax. Everything will be just fine. C- come on, Jim. We'll go together. On three. One, two, three. <gasps> That was close. You're telling me. I think we're safe for the moment, though. Where? Where are we? I'm not sure. Looks like an office, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty swanky, though. I think I can hear the waterfall just outside the window. Oh, yeah. We're right on the edge of the falls. Hey, Jim, it looks like quite a drop down here. I'll say. I think we're right near the top. How are we going to get out? Good afternoon, gentlemen. Wow. Monsieur's blood the wedge and bond, I presume. Who the hell are you? Where did you suddenly spring from? You may call me Bernie, and the honor of restoration falls, and this is my office. Wait a minute. Are you just a joint slug in a fancy suit? Of course not. How ridiculous. I'm a simple human being. But it says Bernie Slug on your desk nameplate. I assure you, that's just my name. Oh, yeah? Shake my hand, then. I don't want to. It looks like your palms are covered with the salt from a complimentary service hat. That's exactly what I'd expect a joint slug to say. Slugs don't like salt. It's worse than that, Charlie. If you look really closely, you can see he hasn't even got any arms. How rude. I am most certainly not a slug. Prove it. Well, come to think of it, your eyes are sticking out on stalks on the top of your head, and I can't quite see where your mouth is. Good points, Charlie. All right. All right, you've discovered my little secret. Yes, I'm a giant talking slug who happens to be called Burnley Slug. No matter, though, you won't be leaving Restoration Falls now. What do you mean? Bung, bung, bung. Looks like we've found you. It's time to come with us. Oh, crap. They've got guns, Jim. What are we going to do? Ah, Sweeney and Todd. Blah, blah, blah. Excellent timing. I think these two would like cozy new jobs cleaning out the cages behind the treatment room. Splendid idea, sir. We'll help them get settled into their new roles. Blah, blah, blah. Relax, Charlie. We're going to get out of this. What do you mean, relax? There's two armed men blocking the exit and a massive talking slug sitting in front of us. You know, it's rude, the point. Quick, quick, Charlie, the window, get it open! I don't know, Jim. We're really high up and there's a massive waterfall outside. It's the only way, Charlie. I think we're going to have to jump. What? You don't have to do that. Why not just work here with us? We need to move right now, Charlie. I I don't think this is a good idea, Jim. Maybe we should just take our chances with the massive slug. No, we need to jump out of here right now. Jim, have you ever thought we might need a theme tune? 
Jolly and Jim. Not now, Charlie. Jolly and Jim. Charlie, focus. Jolly and Jim. Wow, wow. Listen, Charlie, we don't need a theme tune. We do need to jump out of this window right now. That does sound a little silly. You might break all your bones. Yes. But I'm scared, Jim. It's not like a curiously similar experience we encountered once before where we were wearing parachutes. We might actually die if we jump out of here. I'm frightened. Listen to me, Charlie. You can't let your fear own you. It's the same as the pine cones. When it comes down to it, you need to put all your thoughts from your head. It's the action that counts. This is all delightfully exciting. (laughs) What do you mean, action? Sorry, Charlie. I mean, I'm going to have to push you. Do it. (laughs) How unexpected. You don't have to join him, Mr. Bond. You could still join us and work here. No thanks. Goodbye forever, you giant slug. And you weird people. I'm coming, Charlie! Next time I'll be choosing the holiday destination! It seems that rooms 13 and 35 have checked out. I'll send in housekeeping for a deep clean. See that you do. And scrub their names off the guest register and treatment list. Of course, sir. But what if they survive? Will people come and start asking questions? Hmm, very well. Me and the slugs will go and hide back under the waterfall until all of this dies down a bit. In the meantime, I've had word this morning from my international brethren. Looks like Restoration Falls is finally set to open more spas across the globe. Well then, we're finally going to be worldwide. Won't that be lovely? Bum, bum, bum. You have been listening to Restoration Falls, part two. Written, produced, recorded, and edited by Matt Sanders. Kevin Jones. Promotional material by Laurie Stone. If you enjoyed this episode, give us a like, subscribe, and review wherever you heard this. And follow us on Instagram at Kandua Podcast. Join us again next time for a brand new story about something completely different. Meanwhile, I need to get ready to come to a spa near you. Wouldn't that be nice? Bang, bang, bang!